Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another exciting design tutorial with UXMate. Today, we are going to create a cool loading animation in Figma, but this is going to be super exciting because it is not something uh, which we typically do. Uh, we are going to learn how to create different pivot points in the same animation. We are going to create a hexagon and we are going to animate the lines around the hexagon. So this is going to be super fun and uh, you know amazing things to learn. So stay tuned uh, till the end of this video because you would love the awesome tips and tricks which I am going to share. So yeah. Uh, let's jump into the video well before that make sure you have already subscribed to the channel and hit that bell icon next to it because if you are not doing that then you are going to miss a lot of exciting design content uh, with UX Mate. so yeah uh, without any further delay let's jump into Figma and get started with it uh, in Figma so let's start uh, with a polygon I'll make it probably 200 by 200 and let's have six sides you can do uh, for a triangle for a rectangle uh, for any other shapes doesn't matter but uh, let's use a hexagon and let's add a stroke I'll make stroke probably two pixels and I'll remove the color okay and let's create a frame maybe 300 by 300 okay and let's align this in the middle Now I'll create a line or a path you can say on the edge of this hexagon and we are going to animate this line so you can uh, hit escape twice to you know uh, complete the path and get out of the uh, pen tool. Let's change the stroke color to something else and let's uh, just you know uh, get a little bit more thickness for this edge and we are going to animate this line around the edges uh, with a rotation and for this uh, setup Let's create one ellipse. Something like this. And you can see, you know, uh, it doesn't need to be exactly, you know, uh, aligned in the middle, but uh, we should be trying to, you know, uh, align this as possible, as much possible as uh, to the center of the circle, because we are going to create a custom pivot point using this circle. Okay, so I'll select this ellipse only. I'll re uh, rename this and I'll say uh, custom pivot or, or you can just say reference, whatever you want, you know, and then we are going to hide it anyways. So I'll select this ellipse only, not the vector and I'll say, you know, line, sorry, not like, uh, okay, you can like the video, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, so I'll select this reference uh, circle here and uh, I'll quickly frame selection so you can just right click and hit frame selection so that will create a frame of this and this is my pivot point okay or you can say uh, rotation and now I'll move this line inside this frame so now if you notice you know the frame is still of uh, let's say 14 by 14 pixels and my line is inside the frame and now when I try to rotate this frame uh, of this reference circle not the circle but the actual frame and when I try to rotate this you can notice you know my line is uh, getting rotated around the center of this okay so uh, let's now quickly uh, create a component but before that let's you know modify the line a little bit and let's add uh, you know these cool circles at the edge so you know uh, we can do it later as well once we finish the animation but then we have to do it in all the variants and I guess that should be also fine because uh, meanwhile, you know, we can just focus on the animation and then we can decorate this. Okay, so I'll convert this whole thing in a component. Uh, we can get rid of the background color because uh, anyways, we don't want it uh, in the actual component. So let's make a component and let's add a variant property. Okay, so I'll create a variant and I'll select this uh, rotation circle or the rotation frame here. I'll rotate it uh, kind of, you know, uh, mm, which matches to the uh, other age okay and now here is the trick guys we have rotated this and next time you know on the next frame we want to rotate it from this point but our uh, reference or uh, our you know uh, pivot point is at the top and when i try to rotate this now it will only uh, rotate the line from this point so we need to change the pivot point in this frame but if we do it uh, here itself then it is going to create a trouble in the animation so what we are going to do we are going to create one more variant of the same frame okay so i'll create another variant and in this variant i'll select this frame okay i'll select this frame i'll move this frame at the bottom you know uh, at this point okay 
and now I'll select this line. I'll move it back and align it again to the middle of this uh, reference circle. Now let's create one more variant. Uh, guys, stay uh, till the end because interaction is going to be uh, quite tricky in this case. So I would uh, request you, you know, uh, watch this uh, video completely because then only you will be able to understand the uh, interactions and you will be able to create this amazing animation in Figma. Okay, so now we have created another variant. Now again, go back to this frame, uh, not the circle. Okay, select this frame uh, and then rotate this to match the angle of this uh, line of this hexagon. Okay, again, let's select, uh, let's deselect everything, select the variant 4 and let's create one more variant. Now again, we will move this uh, frame to the next point of the animation. Okay, somewhere here and we need to move the line uh, again here. Okay, it seems the frame is a bit misaligned, so we can just first align it and then align the line. You can use your keyboards, you know, to uh, offset uh, with the nudges. But yeah, if you're confident on mouse, then yes, uh, you can go ahead with that. Now let's create another variant quickly. And again, select this uh, rotation frame. I'll fast forward this, but you have to follow this same way. Let's add another variant and I guess this is going to be the final one. Let's select this frame here and let's rotate it. Okay, and seems, you know, uh, quite good. Uh, probably I would need one more, uh, you know, just to move it, uh, like move the pivot point. But uh, let's try with this first, you know, uh, how this animation looks. And then we can think of, you know, uh, creating the another variant. So now uh, the fun part or, you know, the tricky part of, uh, you know, the interactions is here. So Let's create interaction from first frame to second frame. Here it is going to be after delay with one millisecond. Okay. And then it is going to be smart animate uh, and you can keep ease out. Uh, that is fine. And let's keep it 300 milliseconds. This is going to be the speed of animation you want. So uh, you can change it. You can customize it as per your need. So let's uh, keep it 300 milliseconds for now. Okay. Now from the second uh, variant to the third variant, uh, we are going to do same way, uh, but after delay of one millisecond, and this is going to be instant because I don't want, you know, uh, any delay in this, uh, uh, in this process or in this uh, step of the animation, I'll create the next interaction from uh, this variant to this one. And then it is going to be after delay with one millisecond. It is going to be smart animate with 300. Let's close this. Let's now uh, do the next interaction after delay one millisecond and it is going to be instant now let's create the next variant uh, next interaction it is going to be after delay one millisecond smart animate with 300 milliseconds so if you notice you know we are doing alternate uh, interactions so one is going to be the smart animate other one is going to be the uh, instant animation okay on click uh, so we'll be creating on uh, after delay one millisecond this is going to be smart animate okay now uh, from this to the next it is going to be after delay with one millisecond and this time it is going to be instant and now uh, on click changes to after delay a uh, delay is one millisecond animation is going to be smart animate so let's not create the loop uh, as of now because uh, probably you know this won't work we need to create uh, one more uh, variant here but let's just you know try it out Let's create a frame. Let's just move this uh, in the test frame. It seems too big. Uh, okay, no worries. I'll align it to the middle. So uh, guys, there was, you know, uh, a question asked by a lot of people in the comments, you know, how to uh, get this uh, working or animated instance on the frame. So what you can do is you can just, you know, select the first variant of uh, this uh, component, hold your option or alt button. And now you can notice, you know, the change of arrow and just you know uh, drag and move it out of the animation uh, uh, component and you know move it to your uh, test frame or wherever you want to use and then you know uh, you can just play it and that should be working if you have set up the interactions correctly okay cool uh, if you notice you know this was nice animation but i guess uh, at this point we we uh, we missed the interactions and i guess uh, which one it was this one right 
here it is one millisecond this is fine ah okay here it was 800 milliseconds and it should have been one millisecond but no worries it happens and let's play it back great uh, now you know uh, let's complete the loop let's move uh, it from the last to the first okay and uh, let's make it after delay one millisecond and uh, I'll make it instant and let's try this cool guys uh, now you can see you know your nice loading animation is ready uh, if you want you know uh, you can change the colors and all but uh, let's just you know do one final thing let's select the reference circle let's go to the design select all uh, so you know you don't have to go and uh, do it for all of them you can just remove the fill or you can just lower the opacity or you can use ctrl shift h to hide all of them and uh, let's see it again great now let me just you know uh, do uh, some tricks here uh, i'll select the line okay i'll select all lines and i'll uh, change the endpoints with circles that would look good and you can change the timing and the duration of the animation uh, so you know you can select the alternate uh, hexagons go to prototype go to delay now you can see it is uh, one millisecond and uh, instead of 300 you can do uh, let's say 500 so that would be a bit slower and let's test it again okay to make the animation more interesting you can change the animation curve uh, again select the same way you know alternate uh, hexagons or the alternate variants go to the delay change the smart animate uh, curve uh, from ease, in, uh, ease out to ease in and out you can create a custom or you know bouncy uh, thing as well or a custom spring a custom spring you know uh, gives you more uh, bouncy or you know springy uh, interaction so let's try that as well and now let's play this see and now if you want you know uh, you can just get rid of the hexagon as well uh, so i'll select all of the polygon uh, elements here and i'll just remove the feel and now if you play this you can see your line is you know getting animated around the uh, ages now guys uh, I, as i promised uh, stay till the end of the video because i'm going to share an amazing tip and now you know we have created this animation with just a hexagon and now you can you know follow the same things uh, with a logo animation as well so for that what you have to do is basically let's say uh, you have to you know type your uh, character or with uh, uh, with any shapes which you want so let's say uh, this is my logo for example um, i guess i'll make it a little bit bigger okay and um, let me make it black sorry let me make it black okay now what you have to do uh, you have to do it same way and you know uh, you will create a line something like this okay and you will create your uh, reference circle somewhere here at the middle why i'm creating a shorter line because you know uh, i want this to be more or less kind of you know uh, matching with the smallest size because if i create a, a longer line then i won't able to fit it on the shorter gap so i'll i'll find you know a distance which basically matches uh, uh, throughout you know all the sizes so you can break it down to the smallest part and then create you know same animation so in this case we'll create a reference circle here and we'll animate uh, so i'll just quickly show you okay and i'll make this as a frame i'll move this line into this frame 33 and oops sorry yeah, and now you can see you know i can rotate this from here and this way you can create the animation to cover your entire litter for the circular objects you know uh, to create such animations uh, uh, that would be probably a bit difficult because you know you cannot create a, a, a curvy line uh, and you cannot animate it uh, in the same fashion but you can just break it to the smaller chunks and make your uh, shape a bit hexagonal so you know uh, you have more chunks rather than a complete circular line and then in that case you can do it uh, this way as well or for the circles you may use you know uh, some other techniques which we have learned for the line animation it could be you know uh, creating the masks uh, i already have a dedicated tutorial uh, you can watch on the line animation where you know you can create any sort of line and animate it in figma 
so you can follow that as well for creating the complex line animations thanks for watching this video and i hope you have enjoyed this video because uh, it was super fun to create this amazing uh, animation and yep yeah, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button let me know uh, what you feel about this uh, or any other tutorials on the channel uh, in the comment section below you can share your ux story how you get into ui ux uh, anything which you love to share with the uh, community you can definitely share it in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button because that will motivate me and uh, that will help me to keep uh, creating such an amazing content for you yep yeah, till the next video keep watching keep learning keep designing